A smiling fox is walking, carrying a bag on her shoulder. I think I hear some sounds coming from inside the bag. The fox, a visitor in the night. One day, a fox found a wooden bat on a path. It's a wooden bat! All right, I have a great idea. The fox carried the wooden bat and went to a farmer's house. The fox asked the farmer for a night's stay. My house is so small that I can't give you a bed. Don't worry. I'll sleep on a bench with my tail under the bench and my bat under the stove. The farmer couldn't refuse the fox's request and took her in. The fox lay down on a bench and fell fast into a deep sleep. As the fox had said, she slept with her tail under the bench and her wooden bat under the stove. The next morning, the fox threw her wooden bat into the stove and burned it. Then she pretended to be angry with the farmer and asked him to give her back her bat. Where is my wooden bat? If you can't find my bat, give me that goose instead. The farmer couldn't help but give his goose to the fox. A goose instead of a bat. Woohee! <laughs> The greedy fox carried the goose and started on her way with a big grin on her face. The next day, the fox visited another farmer in the neighboring village and asked him for a night's lodging. My house is so small that I can't give you a bed. Don't worry, I'll sleep on a bench with my tail under the bench and my goose under the stove. The kind farmer decided to give the fox a place to stay for the night. The next morning, the fox got up very early and ate her goose. Then she pretended to be angry with the farmer and asked him to give her back her goose. Since you can't find my goose, give me your turkey instead. The farmer couldn't help but give his turkey to the fox. A turkey instead of a goose. Woohee! <laughs> the greedy fox walked more excitedly than before with the turkey under her arm. The fox arrived at another farmer's house. Hello, kind farmer. Please give me a bed for one night. I'll sleep on a bench with my tail under the bench and my turkey under the stove. The fox stayed in the third farmer's house for the night. The fox ate her turkey as soon as the morning broke, and then she argued with the farmer. Since my turkey is gone, give me that sheep instead. The farmer couldn't help but give his sheep to the fox. <laughs> A sheep instead of a turkey. Woohee! <laughs> the fox pulled the sheep and walked away humming a happy song. <laughs> For the last time, the fox went to visit another farmer who lived with his new bride. Our house is so small that we can't give you a bed. Don't worry. Let me sleep on a bench with my tail under the bench and my sheep under the stove.
the farmer couple decided to give the fox one night's stay. The next morning, the fox got up before the farmer couple and ate her sheep, and then she pretended to be angry with the farmer. Since my sheep is gone, give me that woman instead. Right then, the frustrated farmer came up with a good idea. Okay, then. I'll put her into a bag and give you the bag. You should carry her very carefully. The fox carried the bag and left the farmer's house. A human instead of a sheep? Wee-hee-hee! <laughs> the fox happily walked on his way. But what is this? Ah! What is this sound? It's a dog barking! The smart farmer had put a dog in the bag instead of his wife. The startled fox threw away the bag and began to run away. The dog ran out of the bag and barked very loudly at the fox. Ah! Help me! the fox takes someone else's things by telling lies. But I'm sure that the fox won't do that kind of bad thing ever again. <laughs> <laughs>